Hey guys, if you've got a house full of Insteon switches like I do, and they're starting to go black and you get no response from them, and they're toast, here's a fix that you might entertain. Um, I've ended up replacing both of the capacitors, which are here and here, in my 8-button switch. And these are the old ones. This has got a nice bulge at the tip of it. Both of these capacitors were dead, and I ended up replacing them with these two guys here. And this is one of the uh, earlier version 1.6, I think, of the 8-button dimmer. Yeah, version 1.6. And I've got several early versions like this of the 6-button and also just the regular in uh, inline dimmer. I haven't had one of those fail yet, but I suspect that all of them have bad capacitors if you end up having no response and a totally dark switch and a factory reset doesn't work, you might look into the capacitor replacement. Any electronic shop should be able to replace them for you for 15 to 20 bucks. It's about a dollar worth of parts or less. Or if you have some soldering skills, you'll need to desolder these three tabs right here. One, two, and three. And then there are some tabs that unlock the circuit board from the main housing itself. And that will allow you to remove the circuit board to get to the back side of the capacitor solder joints and replace them.